Yay, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Steve Ricardo. Thank you. Today, dude, we got a bass that's just out of this world. I love it. Love the Foo Fighters. I do. Uh, amazing band. Done so much over the years and solid players on this band. So, yeah, let's talk about the bass and uh, cut right into it because this is really cool. So we'll keep it simplicity. Here's some little eye candy for you while I talk about what this bass is and who's it from. And then we'll cut right into it, right? Yes. Before that, smash the like. You guys would be awesome. So smash that, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, come back to my channel. Thanks for all the support. Let's do this. All right. So we all know throughout a long career that started with the, the hardcore punk band Flourish first with uh, Sunny Day Real Estate and then the Foo Fighters. Uh, there really hasn't been much more as far as the main instrument. Of course, this is what he's been using. Nate Mendel and his 71 Precision Bass. Uh, Fender now brings us to you, the Nate Bedell P-Bass, modeled after his beloved uh, battle-scarred red bass. Uh, 20 jumbo frets, uh, the neck is maple, the body is ash, fretboard is rosewood, the pickup is the quarter pounders, and uh, comes with a gig bag, which is awesome. Tour bus not included, of course, but man, this bass, from the minute you pick it up, you can feel the longevity and, of course, the power behind it. It's pretty cool. I'm really... Uh, Really impressed with it, you know. Unlike everyone, everyone's got their own. Uh, everyone's got their own signature nowadays, right? So this is pretty cool. Um, I like the signature on the back. Fender has been doing that now, so you know. Other than the Eddie Van Halen guitar that's got like everything on it, I'm not big on using uh, guitars that are usually signature series because I feel kind of weird. That's just me. But I've got an LTD uh, Mac guitar. Signature for um, Chimera, things like that. Pretty cool. Zach Wild got their neat designs for the guitars. But as far as that, I think we like what this offers, right? Okay, so without further ado, I'm just running straight DI into it with a little bit of a, uh, the pod bass rack mount. Other than that, not a lot of cherries added to this. But uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the guitar is pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with it. It does have that worn, worn, you know, the worn road look to it but not over the top where everything's like chipping stuff like that so yeah so let's run through it all right this is the base at the max of what it can do Very cool. Um, what else can I add to this thing? Uh, one tone, one volume, simple. It's got all the cool hardware that Fender always includes with their P bases. And this thing is just epic. What's up, guys? So if you are looking for something to search, it's going to send you back about 2K, two grand taxes in, something like that. But in the States, I think it's like $1,400. Otherwise, two grand in Canada. Welcome to the exchange rate, right? Uh, it's simple, so I don't know what else I can add to it other than it uh, feels great. Ash body feels nicely balanced. It's got a really great 
feel in the neck. I wouldn't touch anything about it, really. Um, and like I said, it's got that classic look. And if you want something that's not exactly looking brand new and you want to pay more for it, this is your bass guitar, right? So it's got that worn, played it for a while kind of thing. So, yeah, do check it out. If you've got one, let me know down below how you like it. And uh, I know they made quite a few of these coming around, so it came out last year, something like that. So, yeah, simplicity, simplicity at a bass point level. And, uh, yeah, it just, it just feels great to play. So I've been Steve. You guys have been great. This is a nice, simple review. Do check it out, subscribe, tell your friends, and I look forward to seeing you guys back on another bass guitar checkout. All right, cheers, have a good one. Oh, let's do this. <laughs>